sometimes I worry. Sometimes I worry about my life. I worry about how good I would make it on wheels. Could I be a could I be a good driver? I don't know. Sometimes I worry about my life and I sink into my couch. I don't know what I'm doing. Other times I feel like best laid plans and I have it all made. I have it figured out. I know what I'm going to do by the end of the week. I know what I have to buy. I know what I don't have to buy. I know which interactions I have to avoid or which bad habit I'm going to perpetuate. I know what I'm going to be thinking about when I go to sleep at night. But for a long time, there remains an essential feeling that I don't know what I'm doing. And I believe that I've skated on, skated on by on 19 years, but how come, how come for the years that I, you know, how come I how come I led myself to believe that everything was going to be a dream and I don't know how to dilute the pressure that I sometimes put on myself, which this pressure is kind of non-existent, but there's still a little guy telling me, you could be doing so much more, why don't you believe in yourself? And it's funny because you have moments where you think about the potential <laughs> that you have, um, which everyone has, but I don't know how to, I don't know what to make of everything because how big everything is scares me. And you think about the future where you're heading it's like every day you have to be heading down a perfect path like if you're in your pajamas at home and you've been at home all day you've been slouching on your couch you've been burning your eyes with tv and then you put some food in the oven and then you go back to doing that or you read a book and you shower you feel shit but you do those things anyway so I don't know what this is. I'm not sure what this has ever been, but I know that I've, it's it's always felt like I've had someone, which is me, watching over myself and just saying, you're not doing it right, you're not doing it right. And then I look back on my memories and I'm like, well, I've had, even if I've had like an exponentially shitty time, I've had a really good time in between and I look at my memories and I feel like they're not my memories. Almost as if they're too good to be true. Like, I can't believe I've met people who are so awesome. And during my gap year, I feel really alone. I mean, presently. But not in a bad way. I, when I say alone, I mean more in a way where it's like, I'm kind of sad, but I'm like dealing. But I'm also just like what am i doing just always asking myself every day all the time don't know what i'm doing don't know where i'm heading but some days i'm like yeah i'm gonna go to this university and i'm gonna do this i'm gonna graduate and everything's gonna be like it's gonna be like a little trail of animals crossing the road to go to the farm and no one's getting run over and it's perfect sometimes it feels that way in my head <sighs> but i think that living or at least what i think is a semblance of living aside from like all the necessary things that you do like shower and all of that i think it just i just kind of settle into like being a mess and i feel like that's what my life sort of is 
just settling into this feeling of like, okay, like, nothing is proper, nothing's perfect, everything is just sort of like rumbling around, and sometimes you get flashes of good, flashes of bad, flashes of in-between, and you don't know how to feel, and you're euphoric, and you, you have a come up, you have a come down, so it's like, wow, how do you place yourself within all of that, because the older you get, I feel like your emotions heighten more, but still, with you, there's always the, the feeling, I think it, it remains that way, the feeling of you're like kind of wide-eyed and surprised and sometimes it seems like when you're older, you're getting older, whatever, you're better at keeping your composure than when you were a kid. And what I mean by that is that you don't have that much wonder anymore. You're, you're, you're used to it when you get disappointed or sad or mad or disgusted. But I don't think it's that way. I think I don't let myself feel everything to its max. And I try to dilute the emotions that I feel. Like when I feel sad, I'm like, why am I sad? I have a roof over my head. I have wonderful family, wonderful friends. I have books in my room that I've never read. I have pages of collage books that I've never crafted. I have movies to see, I have songs to listen to. I have people to meet, I have places to see. I have a life to live. But everything within that, when you're in a moment or like the day to day, it just seems like you project so much of what you don't have into like the day that you're living. So it's so hard to appreciate what's in front of you. I don't I know how that sounds, but I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to not be like, okay, right now this is just a pass and and like in a couple of years and a couple of months it's gonna get better. But what about right now? If that's what I'm saying, what about now? And sometimes I get good at having good habits, but right now <laughs> I haven't done any of my good habits and I can remember I can remember good habits and trying to appreciate things even though you do things that you know are good for you even when you don't feel like doing them that's the hardest thing to do and I get flashes of my good habits like oh you've been down a good path you can do this you can keep doing this this is what your life's about but then you know I don't know and also I don't know that these feelings are good or bad i just know that they don't feel exponentially happy they just feel like they just feel like i'm i'm a, i'm stirring myself i'm just like i'm in the middle of the pot i'm stirring myself but it's going nowhere it's never gonna stop cooking ever that's what i feel like <sighs> like i have to carry this brain with me for my entire life, like I have to learn what it means to love, how to love someone. And also, what is that about, you know? Why? I'm so obsessed with that idea. I'm so obsessed with that. And that's one of the things that scares me the most. I just don't know. Just don't know. I don't know. I wish I did. But I don't have to. And that's funny because still, you know, I can tomorrow or whenever I can turn on my favorite movie and then I can recite all the lines. I can get to know all the characters over and over again and hear the songs again. And then a couple of days later, I'm, I know what I'm about. I know what I'm here for. But I just wish that was a constant... And you want to believe that all the hurt and all the reflection, you want to believe that everything is part of it, it's beautiful, it's endearing, but it doesn't feel fun. You want to believe that it is because of something that you're going through this. You want to believe that there's a reason why, <laughs> that there's a reason why, there's a reason for all of it. But I don't think so because I just feel like my entire life and that, that of those around me has been 
compartmentalize like in a little can of soup that you place in a, in a warehouse in a huge warehouse and you close the door forever and you let it simmer and it's just supposed to be good again when you open the door when you open I don't know it's like everything just sometimes feels that way but you just wanna like explode or jump out of a window you're sitting in your class seat you're, you're doing your homework until your eyes pop out I don't know like what does it all mean and you sit in the bar have a drink and you pretend pretend and pretend again and again and again and I don't know what it's supposed to mean I know that you get to feel good once in a while but what does it mean I don't know just it just freaks me out so yeah I just wanted to say that I I don't know what it means I wish I knew what it meant and freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose I just I'm not sure